Hi guys, today I'm going to be trying out the newly released, it's the Guerlain Terracotta Luminizer, the shimmering powder. And I got it in the shade Double Zero. It is in Cool Ivory and it is in the standard terracotta packaging. I am going to be doing a near full face of Guerlain today. I've also got the Guerlain eyeshadows, the one that came out last year, but I'm not going to use those today. Instead for eyeshadow, I'm going to do a mixture of the terracotta bronzer and also this new luminizer as well. So I've done all my skincare for the morning. The last step being my sunscreen. I've got to put on some primer. And for primer today, because I'm going to use this Guerlain foundation, which is absolutely beautiful unfortunately for you guys in the US that foundation isn't there I know there has been another Guerlain foundation just released in the terracotta range which I can't get hold of but when I can I probably will pick that one up and try it out but this one is absolutely beautiful this is for sale here in New Zealand it's also for sale in Europe and also England as well I picked mine up from Selfridges and you can also pick it up from Harrods as well it's beautiful I did a dedicated review on it it is a gorgeous foundation so for primer I'm going to use the new Dior one it's the Forever Velvet Veil Matte Primer which I absolutely love and I have used it with this Guerlain foundation and it goes beautifully with it and I've used this primer I've mentioned it before with quite a few of the foundations that I have and every single foundation that I've tried it with so far and I do have a lot of foundations in my collection but it's all paired very beautifully it just gives such a beautiful canvas to begin your makeup routine it's really really beautiful and then just before I pop on the foundation, I'm going to put on this gloss that came out with the Holiday Collection last year with Guerlain. This is really pretty. It has a really beautiful shimmer in it and it feels just really beautiful on the lips. I don't know whether you can still get this now or whether it's probably been sold out. I'll have a look around. And if I can find it somewhere, I will list it and link it below. So I'm just going to put one pump on the back of my hand and I'm going to put this on using a beauty blender. This foundation is fragrance, like most of, if not all, of the Guerlain products. I think it is a really beautiful fragrance. One thing about this new Luminizer, I will mention it again because people might skip through this part it is fragranced just like the rest of the terracotta range the bronzers and the other products but I don't feel as if it's as heavily scented as the other terracotta products that I've got I've got quite a lot of the terracotta bronzers I've got about four different ones and when you first open them up there is this really heavy scent that comes out and when I opened up the Luminizer, I could smell it, but it just didn't seem as heavy. I mean, that could be me <laughs> because I'm used to the fragrance, but I really think it is more, it's the same fragrance, but it's just more on the lighter side. So now off camera, I'm going to do concealer, my eyebrows. I'm going to put some eyeshadow primer on and also powder under my eyes and my face as well. None of those are Guerlain products, so I'll do that and then I'll be back. The foundation is absolutely beautiful. I just love it. So now I'm going to put on some bronzer and it's going to be Guerlain one from the Terracotta range. And I've pulled out two from my drawer. One is in 03. This is medium warm. I really love these bronzers. It's why I have so many different ones. I think they are just beautiful and I think they look gorgeous on the skin as well. I've also got the one 04 and this is in deep cool. Now I really want the luminizer to shine for this video since that's a new product. So I think for the bronzer today I'm going to use the shade in 03 medium warm so I'm going to use this one I'm just going to grab my Sonia G brush 
this is the Niji Pro and I just swirl all through there. So I've had this bronzer for a while and I can still smell the fragrance in it but because I've had it for quite a while, it's probably been at least a year, it's not as strong as when I first got it. But as I was saying, I don't mind the fragrance in the Guerlain products. I think it's really, really beautiful. And might be, well, I don't know whether it's an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like, if it's a nice fragrance, I quite like fragrance in my makeup products. It makes it just a really nice experience when it's got the fragrance in it. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use a combination of the terracotta bronzers. I'm going to use the medium warm and also the deep cool as well. Now I'm going to stay away from these bits in here because these have the little bit of shimmer in it. When you swirl it all together, it gives a very, very subtle shimmer. I think it's very beautiful. But for putting on the eye makeup, because I'm going to use the new luminizer as well, I'll stay away from these areas. So I'm going to start off with this shade here. I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the classic crease. Go into this shade here. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. So this isn't going to be a very dramatic eye look or anything like that. It's just going to look really warm and very soft. And then I'm going to go into the deep cool one and go into this part of it here again this is where it's matte not I'm staying away from the shimmer and I'm gonna put this in the outer corner I tried this out the other day to see what it would look like and I thought it looked really really lovely and I was really pleased I mean I'm not surprised that it blends well as an eyeshadow because I've always thought that they blend beautifully when I've used them as a bronzer but you never really know and when I tried it out I thought the look was was really really pretty then I'm going to take the Sonia G this is the soft definer and I'm going to stay with this dark shade that I've just put on the outer corner and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line And then I'm going to go into this new luminizer and I will talk about it, the grams and where it's made and do some comparisons when I use it over my cheeks. But I'm just going to pop this just to finish off the eye look. So it's going to pop this on the rest of my lid. This is the Rafa. This is the Rafa 02 brush. So I'm going to start off using this. It's really, really beautiful. It just gives just a really gorgeous shimmer and just lightens up through here. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm going to take the Rafa 03 and I'm going to put some of this in my inner corner and just a little bit through here as well. So I'm not going to be putting on any blush today. I've got the bronzer on and I just really want to show off this luminizer. So it is called the Guerlain. It's the terracotta luminizer. It is the shimmering powder. This has a shelf life from six months of date of opening. It has seven grams of product and it is made in Italy. Now when you hold it side by side, this is the terracotta lights bronzer one of the ones that I was just using, and they are exactly the same size. Now the bronzer, when I look at the back here, this has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. The luminizer is six months. The bronzer has 10 grams of product, and the luminizer, this has seven grams of product. So they look to be exactly the same, but there are three grams less in this luminizer. And it's the same size when you look at it in the pan as well. So it just must be more shallow in the pan itself. So you saw me using it before. You see that it's the same as the other terracotta range of products. Packaging on the front is the same. Has the mirror inside. 
the luminizer itself is just really really beautiful so this one there are two different shades this is number zero zero and I'll just make sure and this one is called cool ivory so I'm just going to hold it up so you can have a closer look at it so the embossing on it is really beautiful I'll just turn it each way so you can get a good look at it it has the wording terracotta embossed in there and out here it's like little rays of sun I think the embossing is really lovely so I'm just taking a look at the Guerlain website because this is for sale in the US at the moment just on the Guerlain website. I imagine it won't be too long before it's for sale at other places like Nordstrom and probably overseas at Selfridges, Harrods, places like that as well. They say on their website that this is a true innovation in Guerlain's range of face powders terracotta luminizer shimmering powder it's formulated with 96 percent naturally derived ingredients reproduces the distinctive dazzling and sensual light of the golden hour thanks to two shimmering shades a cool ivory which is the one that i have and a warm gold for a radiant and sensual glow natural origin luminescent shimmer create a subtle golden glow plain multi-dimensional reflections its light second skin texture settles like a delicate veil on skin forming a film of ultra fine shimmer that captures the light to give the complexion a radiant long-lasting glow they say that this new ally for a resplendent complexion offers a natural result thanks to a light buildable second skin texture and you can see the way that it went on my eyes. Now, I only put this on once using the Rafa brush. I might go over, if I remember, again using my finger just to see if you can get a little bit more payoff. But it is just from that one application using the brush for the eyeshadow. It is how it describes. It's just, it's very subtle, but just gives this beautiful, beautiful shimmer. So they say that the cool ivory is a subtle pink champagne shade and the warm gold is a shimmering golden shade. Each of these two shades features gem tone technology, a self-adaptable pigment that allows terracotta luminizer to adapt to skin's true tone for a natural finish. They also say that this is infused with argan oil and they do have a list of all the ingredients so I will put that up now and you can pause it if you want to take just more of a look at what ingredients are in this product. So then they start talking about the fragrance that's in here and they say it's like the other terracotta powders and they say it invokes summer with its sunny lang lang and orange blossom notes warmed by vanilla and tonka bean on a sensual white musk base. This instantly identifiable cult fragrance is a sensuous one-way ticket to warmth. I love how they describe their products. Sun and travel all year round. It combines pure pleasure and desirability. Now, as I was saying before, it definitely has that fragrance. But normally when I've just got something new from Guerlain, like the bronzers and some of the other products, it's when you first open it, you do get quite a hit of that fragrance. And even though I can smell it, to me it's not overwhelming at all. So it's definitely the same fragrance, but I just don't find it as overwhelming as I did when I purchased bronzes and first opened them. So this is the new Guerlain shade. The one next to it, this is the new Hermes. And this is in the shade Rose. These are their iridescent powders. Next we have Chantecaille. And this was released holiday 2021. And this is Pearl Lumiere. Next is Dior Forever. And that is in Pink Glow. Next is the Hermes. This is the Radiant Glow Powder. And that's in 02 Mirage. Next we have Chanel, this is Powder Lumiere and this is an Ivory Gold. This one's also Chanel and this was the Rev de Camellia. This was released last year, the limited edition one. And finally this is Bobbi Brown and this is described as a highlighter, not a luminizer. 
this is in pink glow but I do find the Bobbi Brown ones even though they say the highlighters they're a little bit more softer than a traditional highlighter so I tend to use them as a luminizer and then also in my drawer I've just pulled out this is also a luminizer and this one is from the Riviere collection and this one has it is a cooler one, the pink, so I'm going to swatch that beside the Gulan one. So here's the Gulan, and this is from the Riviera collection. And I also put pictures of this luminizer on Instagram as well, and I took pictures of this in natural light and also a mixture of studio and natural light as well. And if I remember while editing this, I will put them up here because this luminizer can look a little bit different depending on the light. In one of the pictures, it looks cooler. And then under, and I think it was the mixture of studio light and natural light, I think it gave off a warmer type of tone. So it's really interesting how it shifts. So I'm going to start off with by putting this all over my cheek. This is a Tukahodo brush. This is the F03. And I'm just going to go like that in. And just pop it all over my cheek. And this is why I really love luminizers. Because you get a glow. But it's really, really subtle. It's really, really beautiful. And... It is really flattering on my mature skin. I think it's really beautiful. So I'm just going to go over the other cheek. This blends out really, really beautifully. And also when I swatch it, it does feel really, really smooth. I think this, this is really, really pretty. Then I'm going to start adding a little bit more. I'm going to take the raffer. This is the number 20 brush. And I'm going to add more just to the high point here. Now soon I'll also use my finger for the cheekbone as well. Just to show you how much more payoff you can get. But for me this is enough. I think it's really really beautiful. And because this is so flattering, I don't normally do this, but I'm actually going to just add a touch down my nose and I'm just going to put a touch up here as well. Because of the formula, I don't think it's going to emphasize my wrinkles or texture just because how beautiful it is. And it just gives this really soft glow. And it, and it isn't emphasizing the points that I don't want to emphasize. And I think it would be quite nice on the brow bone as well. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the Wayne Goss. This is the number 16. And I'm going to put this on my brow bone as well. Just to give a subtle highlight. I don't hardly ever do this but because it's so subtle and the formula is so beautiful with my mature skin I think it is really really gorgeous now the other thing I wanted to show you is where I put it using as eyeshadow I'm going to go over that part again and I'm going to use my finger this time see if we can get some more payoff so I'm just going to go through there. So you can get more payoff by using your finger. This eyelid compared to that one. So now I'll do the other eyelid and even them up. And then using my finger, I'm just going to go just on the high point here, just to show you how you can build it up and the more payoff you get by using your finger. So you can definitely see definitely more of a payoff when you use your finger. Now 
these blend so well that normally I would grab something like the Sony G, this is a smooth buffer or something like that, but I can actually use my finger to just buff it out slightly. It is such a gorgeous formula. And then I'll just go over the other side as well. So that is really, really beautiful. And I said that I wasn't going to add any blush, and I'm not going to. But what I might do, just to go over the cheeks a little bit, is I'm going to go into the deep, cool bronzer. And I'm just going to take a very fluffy brush. This is the Chocohodo. This is the F01. And I'll just tap in lightly, just to add just a little bit more colour through here. And then finally for lipstick, I'm going to use the Kiss Kiss one, the Gulan one, and this is in the shade, this is Lily Caress, it's a nude lipstick. I just want to keep this whole look really, really soft. So I think that this Luminizer is really, really beautiful. I think it is gorgeous on the skin. I love it on my mature skin. I think it's beautiful. I can get a shimmer that is just stunning and very ethereal looking, but it doesn't emphasize my texture at all. I love it even on my brow bone and the places where I normally wouldn't put a luminizer. That's how good this formula is. It's just absolutely beautiful. I am thrilled that I picked it up and when I can, I'm going to pick up the other shade as well. I think it is really, really gorgeous. And I was talking before that this had seven grams of product instead of the terracotta bronzers they have 10 grams of product they look the same but there is less in the luminizer and these are both the same price point so you're paying more for gram for the luminizer than you do for the terracotta bronzers but for me really that's just a small point of difference it's really on the quality of product and how it looks on my skin and I think it is just stunning really really beautiful so that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.